Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with man cakes. That's right, we're doing pancakes especially for men. And these very virile corn pancakes are spiked with green onions, bacon, and cheddar cheese. And they were amazing. And with Father's Day coming up soon, the time you could be perfect for giving this a try. So let me show you how to put this together. And the first step here is we're going to crisp up about a half a pound of bacon, which is never a bad way to start a recipe. So we're going to throw some sliced up bacon in a cold pan. We'll set that on medium heat and we'll cook that stirring occasionally until it's pretty much crisp. And if you start in a cold pan, that bacon gradually warms up. That fat kind of renders slowly out. And then in just a few short minutes, it should have enough fat to start sizzling away. And then, like I said, we're just going to continue cooking that until it's pretty crisp, pretty much done all the way. And I would think when you get to that point, it should look something like this. And at that point, we're going to do two things. We're going to turn off the heat and quickly dump in our green onions. And we'll give those a stir. And the reason we turn off the flame is because there's plenty of heat left in that bacon fat. And I really don't want to cook these green onions very much at all. I just want to soften them slightly. So we'll just turn off the heat, stir those around for a minute or two. And at that point, let's go ahead and transfer that mixture into a strainer. So we can pretty much let all that fat drain off. And by the way, if you want these a little extra manly, we'll save a little bit of that bacon fat to fry our man cakes in. But anyway, like I said, we'll go ahead and let that drain, and it's on to mixing up our man cake batter, which, while quite manly, is also extremely easy. So all we're going to do is take a little bit of all-purpose flour, and to that we're going to add some cornmeal, and then a nice big spoon of baking powder, not soda. Repeat, baking powder, not soda. I'm also going to give it a pinch of freshly ground black pepper, and a little, little shake of cayenne. And then the last dry ingredient, a little bit of salt. And then before we mix in the wet ingredients, let's go ahead and take a whisk and mix these dry ingredients up to combine everything thoroughly. Doesn't take too much, half a minute's plenty. And once that's been done, we can go ahead and add the wet ingredients. The first of which would be two large eggs. I beat those first for some reason. You don't need to, you can just dump them in. We're also gonna add a little bit of melted butter and then a little touch of white sugar. And no, that is not a dry ingredient. As I've been told by the dessert bloggers, sugar is considered a wet ingredient. So anyway, a little touch of sugar, and then we'll finish off the wetness with some whole milk, and we'll take our whisk and we'll mix that up. Don't worry too much about overmixing, just mix it till it's combined. All right, these man cakes aren't very temperamental. And I know you're thinking with a name like man cakes, they sound kind of temperamental, but they're not. So we'll go ahead and give that a quick stir until it's just smooth. And at that point, we can go ahead and add our now drained and pretty cooled bacon and green onion mixture, along with a little handful of grated sharp cheddar cheese. And I'm using the white, you can use the orange if you want. But for me, I think the white cheddar makes for a nicer man cake color. But put in whatever you want. You're all the Sir Francis Drakes of your Food Wishes man cakes. So explore away. And then all we're going to do is take our whisk and give that a stir until that bacon mixture and cheese are combined. And that batter is pretty much ready. And while this is already pretty thick, what we want to do is let this sit here for about 10 minutes. All right, it's going to give those dry ingredients a chance to hydrate. And that pretty much goes for any pancake batter. It's generally better to let it sit a little before you try to cook it. And I'm going to go ahead and use one of these measuring cups to spoon mine out into the pan. So I'll go ahead and get that ready. And while we're waiting, we're going to do one extra step. I'm going to call it optional, but you really, really want to do this. We're going to take some maple syrup or syrup, if you enjoy extra syllables. And we're going to sprinkle in a little bit of chipotle pepper, which, as you know, is a dried ground smoked jalapeno. So it's a little spicy, a little smoky, and that's going to work beautifully with the flavor profile of our man cakes. And once our maple syrup has been spiked with chipotle, and our batter has rested for about 10 minutes, we're ready to cook. So I have a large nonstick pan set on medium high heat, and I went with the holy trinity of breakfast fats, a little bit of vegetable oil, a little bit of butter, and a little bit of bacon fat. And once that gets hot, we're gonna go ahead and spoon in our man cake batter. About a quarter to a third of a cup of batter I think is plenty. And we're gonna go ahead and let those cook for two or three minutes before we flip them. And even though these are man cakes and not pancakes, we're still gonna look for the same clues about when to flip them. So the first thing you're looking for is that batter is going to kind of dry out around the outside, which means you're very close to bubbles actually coming up and popping up through the top. So when it looks like that and I can see those little bubbles forming, that generally means they're ready to flip, which these definitely were. So I gave those a flip and then we'll give them a couple minutes on that side and then go ahead and find dad because we're almost ready to serve. I think he's hiding in the garage again. And of course, we're going to grab those in reverse order of beauty. So we'll go ahead and we'll put the least attractive one at the bottom. And then the next best looking one. And then of course on top we'll put the best looking one. And in all honesty, is that something your dad would notice? No, never. Which is one of the reasons we love dad so much. But you might as well do it because you know you're going to be Instagramming this. And then once we've played it up, let's go ahead and drizzle over that chipotle spiced maple syrup that you've warmed slightly in the microwave. And we'll drizzle that over. You could, if you want to, sprinkle a few more green onions on top. Just to warn everybody, they're not about to eat regular pancakes. 
And then if your dad's the man you think he is, he's going to want you to dust over just a little more Chipotle. And at that point, your man cakes are done. Check it out. And as I grabbed the fork here, all I could think of was, man, I hope these taste as good as they look. And they totally did. These really were incredible. Even though the batter had a lot of cornmeal in it, which generally makes things much heavier, these still had a beautiful light texture. And as far as that sweet savory blend, I thought it was just perfect. Just enough bacon, just enough green onion. And like I said, that little bit of smoky heat in that maple syrup really, really put this over the top, okay? And it really is a shame there's no such thing as Father's Day brunch. Because if there was, this would be absolutely perfect for it. But regardless of whether you're making this for dad or not, I really do hope you give it a try soon. So head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.